Hello again. This is Derek at ScreamingGoalAirsoft.com. And today we're doing another know-it-all video. Uh, this is a know-it-all gas blowback handgun maintenance video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how, uh, how to operate and maintain a gas blowback handgun. Um, a green gas blowback handgun. Not a CO2, not a Springer, not electric green gas uh, handgun. Um, what I have here is I have a Wii new version 1911 uh, and I'm going to show you how to maintain it. Um, we're going to show you how to fill it with green gas, what you need to lube up with your silicon oil, and uh, how to clean the barrel and um, and that should do it. Um, let me go ahead and zoom the camera in so you can see what I'm doing with the uh, handgun. All right, one of the first things you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna lay out something on your table uh, to catch any oil or any dirt that might happen. And, if you, and I make it a light color so that if I do drop a piece on it, I will be able to find it. This is just a simple terry cloth towel. Uh, let me go ahead and get my 1911 out. I can put the case away. Um, okay, um, what I have here, uh, what you'll need to, to maintain your gun is obviously the gun and the magazine. You'll need some green gas because I'm going to show you how to. I'm going to show you how to load it. And you're also going to need some silicone oil. This is for cleaning. And possibly some paper towels and a cleaning rod. Not just an unjamming rod, but a cleaning rod. The one with the cleaning tip on it, okay? The one with the, uh, the loop at the end. Okay, um, let's set all this aside. I'll get it as we need it. First thing I want to do is I want to show you how to clean a gas blowback gun. Okay, well first of all, um, or not, not, not necessarily clean, but um, basically just take a paper towel, clean off everything you need to take uh, off. What I would do is I would take the slide off, and the way most handguns go, you bring it back to a certain notch, and this should be described in your manual, take the takedown pin out, and then slide the upper barrel off of the lower receiver. Okay, um, what I'm doing here is I'm taking the spring and the spring guide out and I'm taking the spring guide tube out. Okay, that's just some loose parts in the slide. I wanted to take these out. Okay, um, that's it really. I don't need to disassemble it anymore to make sure it gets lubed up. That's all you need to do. Um, I'm going to take my silicone oil and I'm going to spray it on anything that I know moves. If it moves in the gun, I want to put a silicone spray along it, like the slide edges. You want to spray along the slide edges so that when you put it on the lower receiver, it'll slide smoothly. I want to put it around the gas intake, and that's basically it on the, on the, the upper barrel. Uh, the uh, slide. I want to put the spring guide tube in there and uh, the spring in. Now what I will do is I will spray along the spring just to keep it moving around nice and freely flowing. Okay, now on the lower receiver part I'll basically do the same thing. I will spray along the edges that rub any of the upper receiver um, with silicone oil. This way, when the two parts rub against each other, it rubs a little smoother. Okay, and I will put it on the trigger and I will put it on the hammer. There we go. Now, I'll put it back together. Basically, simple enough. Whoops. And if, um, what's my point? If, uh, 
it leaks or gets all over the place, that's okay because you have your cloth down. And once you get it put back together, if and when this thing does go back together, okay, let's now get back together. When you get it put all put back together, you're going to want to make sure, there you go, you put the little retaining pin back in, and now the slide should move freely. If there's a little excess, wipe it off. You don't want any of the oil just all over the outside of the gun. There's no That's unnecessary. Um, just clean it down. Just as long as the inside is oiled up, you're good. Okay, now I'll get to the magazine. I'll get the magazine. The magazine has a slide. Most of them have a spring slide. Uh, what you should do is spray along the spring so that the spring and the slide does not get jammed or it just moves a lot more freely. Um, and that's basically it for the spring guide. Okay. Um, now, that's, the, that's lubing it uh, with silicone oil. Now I'm going to take the magazine out. I'm going to draw the slide back. I'm um, going to lock it back so now I can see into the uh, ejection port. I can see the back side of my barrel. Uh, I can see the, the chamber and I can, okay. What I will do now is take a strip of paper towel. That's what I'm using. Um, it's actually preferred that you use cloth. Uh, if you have little, you can actually purchase gun cleaning cloths that come in little, like, one-inch squares. Those are excellent. Or you can make your own, like I'm doing here, with a paper towel. And you only need about two inches worth, maybe even less than that. Um, thread that through your cleaning rod like that, you will have a little piece of paper towel and that in the cleaning rod. And then you spray it, and now the cleaning rod has a little bit of oil and lubricant on it, and you take it and you put it in the barrel and you twist, okay? So what happens is the fabric will get twisted around like that, and then you'll get kind of a circular twist. Twist it in all the way in, go, and then as you're twisting, push it all the way through until you see it come out the other end, the chamber. Okay, I do see it. Now I'm, as you can see, I went all the way through. Now I'm gonna start twisting it on the way back. And one time through should be enough, unless your barrel's like extremely dirty. What that does is the oil will actually collect up any excess grime or grit or just whatever in there and clean up your barrel a little bit. Okay. That's maintaining it. Okay. Now a little bit of the use. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the magazine with green gas and we are going to take a couple of shots. Dry fire. Okay. Looking in the nozzle or at the nozzle. You want to line it up with the nozzle and not necessarily parallel with the magazine. And then you want to load it. And here we go. Okay, that only took like two or three seconds. When I loaded it in, it stopped. And you could, you could actually hear the gas stop. I went, psh, doop, and then it stopped. And that's when I took it off. This should be full of gas. I don't know, that's an old green gas canister. Hopefully, it feels like it's got stuff in it, so we'll see. I'll load it up, and normally, okay, like if I had BBs in this, right, and, and the slide is forward and everything's ready and good to go, as soon as I slide that in, it's not ready to fire. If I fired, it would blow back and it would go forward, but the first shot would not have a BB in it. 
So you have to charge it, right? And then let it go forward to load the first BB. This magazine is empty. And it stays back. As you can see, because this is slide uh, catch is down. Or there's no, there's no BBs in the magazine, so it light, locks it back. I can slide it back forward again, and we can continue to fire. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the slide catch down with my thumb. Hopefully it won't pop up, and then we'll shoot. Awesome. Isn't that awesome? Okay. A um, little bit of silicon oil spraying out, a little bit of the uh, uh, green gas is also, you know, I can smell it. Phew! Stinky! Okay. Um, but when you're playing out in the field, you're not going to uh, smell that. It's all over the place. This is indoors, so you're gonna, I can smell it. Okay. Um, a note you need to know. A uh, couple of things you need to know about your gas gun. There is a button at, on the back of most green gas, uh, most CO2 ones too. There's a little button on the back side of your magazine. When you push it, it lets all the air out. There's no air left in this magazine now. Okay, that basically, you want to do that at the end of every game, so get rid of your excess air. There's no need to have it. It sprays out the top there. Okay, um, what else? When you're loading your green gas, okay, it, the magazine will get cold. It will freeze, okay, in your hand. You might even get a little, woo, it's a little, uh, you might get uh, tingly on your fingers. What you do is once you fill it, you make sure you put it in your hand, give it a little, uh, warm it up so it doesn't stay cold, okay? Um, and then when you load it in your gun and you go to shoot it, right, um, it's shooting, you want to shoot with room temperature green gas. Green gas, as it cools off, loses pressure and will um, not shoot your BBs as good as it can. You with me? Okay, so to recap, take your gun apart, lube all the moving parts with silicon oil, Fill your magazine, make sure it stays warm by using your fist, hold on to it, just, just body temperature, let it warm up before you start using it. You have to charge most, most guns, you'll have to charge at least once to get a BB in there and then when you're done for the day, make sure you empty all the excess air out of your gas canister, okay, which is the magazine. Okay, um, and that was it basically. All right, well that was the care and maintenance of a gas blowback handgun. I hope that helps you out. If you're looking for more assistance, you can always email Derek at ScreamEagleAirsoft.com uh, and I'll be glad to help you out. Um, thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Remember, when you're on the airsoft field, play safe.